Welcome back to Calypso Moon. Welcome in if you're new. Aquarius, come join me. We are doing your reading predictions for what's coming in for you in the upcoming month. So if you have your sun, moon, rising, or Venus in Aquarius, this could resonate for you. I'm cleansing the space, cleansing my energy and the energy of the cards to get you the most accurate messages for you coming in. All right, Aquarius, let's get right into it. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button to show your gratitude and appreciation on the way in or out. I really appreciate you guys. Help circulate the video. Help get the message out to other Aquarius people that need to hear the message. Gratitude is the best attitude. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got for you, Aquarius. Coming in, any predictions for Aquarius spirit guides, benevolent ancestors, universal energies. We got nine of fire, nine of wands, the moon, ace of fire, ace of wands. So there's a hidden opportunity here. Eight of earth. It's not really hidden, but it's just something that you really don't readily see. Eight of Earth, which is the Eight of Pentacles. Six of Air, which is the Six of Swords. Queen of Water, which is the Queen of Cups. Messenger and Earth, which is the Knight of Pentacles. Three of Air, Three of Swords. Mm. And the chariot which is the chariot <laughs> okay give me a second Aquarius while I look these over we got messenger of air at the bottom of the deck so the knight of swords a message about truth honesty somebody speaking their truth coming towards you or this could be you sending this message out towards somebody else but that's the underlying energy of this whole spread and the, the center focus of the whole spread as you move into calmer waters. There's a lot of air, well, a little air, earth and fire. It looks pretty even. The moon and the chariot is a water energy here too. So we got three waters, two airs, two earths, two fires. So maybe the emotions are a little hidden here for you, Aquarius, not readily on top of the surface. Something you want to put work into, effort into, you might be saving. Um, somebody's coming out of a victim mentality here, possibly, as they're seizing a new opportunity. I mean, I still feel like there's some sadness and pain here about something, but I don't know if it's the same. Somebody could just be hiding their pain and sadness. I'm getting some, some these wounds go deep. But somebody's trying to move past that and build a new, build, rebuild themselves, rebuild something or just build something that this could be a self-esteem I feel like there's some determination here for somebody to you know succeed even regardless of the circumstances regarding regardless of the hand that they've been dealt they're still wanting to move forward and have a victory here this could be a slow process for somebody um there might be need uh to get emotions under control here but there is an opportunity being presented that you might not see let's get into it Aquarius. show me the nine of fire the hierophant yes you're being guided you are being guided advised um to move forward to uh let something go. I 
I'm also getting that somebody's wounding is coming from a parent or somebody higher up. I'm even getting like the system or society, societal wounds here. Page of Pentacles. This could be stemming from childhood, the way you viewed the world, the way you... There's something in somebody's childhood that's hidden. That's a secret. That's leading to them being wounded. Feeling defeated. Feeling less than. Mm, that was too many. I just saw the high priestess though. This could have to do with a marriage for somebody. This could be coming up in a marriage. Somebody could be ready to get married. And this stuff, these woundings are coming to the forefront. These hidden emotions are coming to the surface. Somebody needs to say something about it, but they don't know how to speak their truth. I don't feel like that it has to do with the marriage, but I feel like that's the catalyst of what's making this come up for somebody. There could be a life-changing event happening, and it could be happy. It could be a happy event, but it's bringing up these hidden emotions from somebody's childhood. That's what I'm saying. Mm, I'm going to leave those right there real quick. Somebody could be buying their first house, too. All right, let's see what this is for the eight. Somebody's dealing with some type of jealousy here that's keeping them stuck from building. Keeping them from building. They're trying to... They're, they're only looking at things one way. I don't know if this is you, Aquarius, or somebody around you, but there's just definitely some emotional energy here that's not in check that's keeping somebody stuck. And it could be this emotional energy from a childhood. God, why do y'all keep getting the same messages? I swear I did this reading before for y'all. Oh, I'm just, this is how I'm seeing it. Like, this is how it keeps coming out to me. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Coins. Somebody is getting their independence, Six of Air. That's what their whole focus is here, moving forward. Because they're becoming independent, stable. They're becoming self-aware of maybe these woundings. What do they have here? Ace of Pentacles in reverse, reverse uh, Three of Cups in the upright. So there could have been a missed opportunity here because somebody refused to see something here. The moon, the page of coins is holding this. But because the hidden emotions, the hidden feelings, there was a missed opportunity for a union, a connection, a celebration. Somebody was definitely in their feelings. I'm getting a lot of uncertainty about where a connection was going. So this is a new opportunity for this connection to rekindle here, possibly leading to marriage or living with somebody or a higher level of commitment in some way. Buying a house with somebody. Yeah, the truth, we got the messenger of air twice here. The truth needs to be spoken here, but it's slow to come out. Somebody's slow to speak their truth. Or they're trying to figure out a way to speak it. I'm feeling like they're trying to figure out how to speak it without causing harm. The chariot. Somebody's feeling like their victory is going to harm somebody else's 
else is going to hurt somebody else. You got the chariot twice here. I knew I had seen the chariot. <laughs> Somebody's feeling like if they win, it's going to hurt somebody else. Show me the chariot. Possibly a father or a husband. So somebody gaining their independence is going to hurt somebody else possibly. That's why they didn't do it before. That's why they missed out on it before. They wanted to keep a union together. They wanted... I'm getting to save face on something. Knight of Wands. swords again so we got three of swords all these these are correlating with each other mm. I'm really getting somebody is, is feeling like if they express their feelings to somebody it's gonna hurt somebody else let me see what's at the bottom of this deck <laughs> regret regret holding on to the past not realizing what you have even be a grudge for somebody could be a grudge against the parent or a husband or a wife be you could be a grudge in a relationship could be jealousy it's just some hidden feelings here that are not being expressed Got the strength card somebody's holding back could be holding back anger could be holding back aggression could be holding back childhood wounds page of swords With that page of swords, I'm feeling like somebody is definitely trying to figure out how to move forward. They could be secretly searching for something too. What I was gonna say with this page of swords is that it's a guarded energy. That's what I'm feeling like. Somebody is protective of themselves, possibly because of some hidden emotions, secrets, or something that they don't want coming out or they don't know how to let come out. And it could be dealing with a childhood or a child. The fool. But a new a relationship or something to do with a house, somebody's taking a risk on a relationship, on a marriage, on a connection, on a commitment. Or taking a risk on buying a house or moving in together with somebody, making something concrete, stable. Somebody's taking a risk doing that or taking a leap of faith to do that. Queen of Wands could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sag. I'm definitely getting Leo energy here. This person could be jealous. not looking at things correctly in order to build it build it the right way build how it needs to be built seven of swords there's definitely lies and deception here and i think somebody's become aware of it and they want to move to calmer waters but Maybe somebody has become aware of their own self-deception and lies. Them lying to themselves about certain things. Them not being able to accept certain things about themselves. There's definitely a lack of confidence on someone's end here. And they're dealing with somebody who has a lot of confidence, a lot of strength here. A lot of fire, fire energy here.
got the magician. Hmm. I'm definitely starting to see there's some deception here. Illusions and lies. But the truth is coming out. There, there's going to be clarity, clarity, slowly but surely. It's coming out. It's going to be set right. Somebody's going to speak it. Somebody's going to get the clarity that they need. But it's slow. The message is going to be slow to come. But it's coming. Somebody already knows this deep down inside. They're trying to suppress it, though. Mm. Why? Night of one. Somebody knows somebody was playing games or something like that. They're heartbroken by it. But they they wanted a victory with this person. They wanted longevity, stability. They knew this person was lying. They broke their heart. Mm. Six of Cups. This is somebody from your childhood, from the past. At the bottom of the deck, Five of Swords. Somebody trying to win at all costs. Somebody's trying to make things right, put things back how they should be. But they're doing it in a way to where it's like they're not telling the full truth. Somebody's trying to make themselves look good in the situation to get a victory. Lots of fleeting energy here. So let's get you some angel answers, Aquarius, and see what's going on here for you. Well, let's see what advice is for you. We already see what's going on. I'm also getting that somebody feels like they have to watch somebody because they can't trust them. They feel like this person is still hiding something from them, and they are. Everything's not out in the open success there will be a victory though because i'm seeing that somebody is going to come clean or something's going to be brought to awareness here the truth is going to be spoken somebody's going to have to compromise meditation brings answers and there's no need to worry this is going to work out but let's get your angel answers i really something is telling me that i really need to see what the deception was but I mean, it basically already says that somebody was not committal, non-committal here. We all know what that means. Spirit, the high benevolent ancestors, thank you. The sun, the sun will come down tomorrow. And east, the sun rises in the east. And sets in the west. I need to turn that back over. I feel like that needs to be seen. So the sun's rising again, basically, is what this is telling me. So we got number six, which is about love. The sun is about abundance, um, expansion, growth, life, sun. And we also have the moon here too. Don't forget that. Light, be grateful for what you have right now. Every day brings new possibilities and opportunities. Concentrate on building your vitality and health. Shine a strong light upon the dark corners. Honesty and transparency are vital at this time. So yeah, somebody is definitely needing to be honest here. This is this is what I'm saying. There is lies and deception, but somebody is going to come clean. They need to be honest about the past or whatever so that this can move forward. Because it's, it's being blocked from moving forward. 
possibly because of what happened in somebody's childhood, possibly because of what happened in a relationship, um, possibly what happened with somebody's parent, possibly what happened with somebody's husband or wife. The truth needs to come out. Somebody needs to speak the truth. All right, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Um, whether you enjoyed the video or not, it helps circulate to other people. Well, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the video, but I'm saying if, if it's your story or not, still hit that like button to show your gratitude, appreciation, and also to get the video circulating for other Aquarius people to see it, other Aqua people to get this message. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.